former USC cornerback Damani Jackson has committed to the University of Alabama, baby. Can I get a roll tie? A roll in the comments. Please drop the elephant emojis and everything. We just got a former five-star commit in Damani Jackson. If you remember Damani Jackson out of the class of 2022, you know, it came down between Alabama and USC. And he chose USC. But what happens? A year later, he comes back around. He hits the transfer portal. And guess what? He's back at the University of Alabama, baby. Where legends are made, baby. That's a smart man. Come to Alabama and learn to play defense and play some defense. Listen, to all future commits, to all future kids that's thinking about Alabama, listen, if it comes down between two teams, if it comes down between two teams, pick Alabama. Pick Alabama, baby, and, and don't have to come meet around again to it today because I did a video earlier today, and I was saying, basically, the Money Jackson was at Alabama's football practice today. He was at the Rose Bowl practice today, and there was a big indicator right then saying that he's coming to the University of Alabama, baby. And I guess after what he's seen today, after talking to Coach Saban, he already had a relationship with Alabama in the first place. Uh... He, he, he could not wait. He committed to the University of Alabama uh, out of Matter Day. And, you know, that Matter Day pipeline for us has been strong right now. We got Xavier Brown, Bryce Young from Matter Day. Xavier Brown is uh, there now, I believe. And uh, Bryce Young was the quarterback from there. But the Matter Day pipeline building up strong. Uh, congratulations for you for choosing Alabama, baby. Uh, this is why Alabama is DBU. And I'm not saying that he's going to be part of that, but I get I want to kind of bet my money on it that he's going to be part of that uh, DBU thing, man. That uh, very talented kid coming out. I think he was number five in the nation, number one in the state of California, and number one defensive back overall in this class. And this, uh, this year, uh, I think his stats, I think he had like 22 solos or something like that. Yeah, he had uh, he had 32 total, uh, total tackles, 25 solos, and seven assists. He didn't get a sack. He didn't um, get any forced fumbles, and he didn't get any any interceptions. So it's a lot. It's a lot of uh, a lot of work. He's just a freshman, but those are all solid stats as a freshman. But yes, he's coming to Alabama, baby. He's coming to Alabama. Uh, six foot one, 190 pounds out of Santa Ana, California. Like I said, out of uh, Matter Day High School. From Matter Day High School. And yes, sir, we landed another big one. We, never, we landed another one, guys. Alabama, we continue to roll. When I say trust the process, trust the process. All the people that said that Coach Saban, this is, uh, Coach Saban is outdated. The recruiting has passed him. The kids can't relate. They might can't relate to them. They might can't relate to them. But you know what they can relate with? With winning. They can not relate with going to the NFL. They can relate with one wanting to win national championships. That's what they can relate with. So, guys, that's why everybody is wishing so bad that Coach Saban, when is he going to retire? When is he going to retire? Because Coach Saban... He beats everybody in every aspect of his game. As far as recruiting, as far as coaching, as far as hiring the best coaches, as far as winning. He just he just wins. And listen to this. This is our this is another guy we got out of the transfer portal, LT Overton. And listen, both of the Alabama 2024 transfer portal commits were ranked as five stars on every website. In the 2022 class. So we got two former five-star players out of the transfer portal. Don't tell me what my coach Saban can't do. Put some respect on his name. And since we in the, deep, the defensive back territory, since we since we in that lane, I, I, I'm going to tell you more about our defensive backs. About our defensive backs. Listen, Alabama 
DB duo has been outstanding this season thus far. Both combining for only three touchdowns is extremely impressive. The duo also accounted for 16 pass breakups and only 398 yards through the air. When they, when you have elite defensive backs, it makes playing defense so much easier. Easier. So, uh, also goes unmentioned un is their ability to make tackles in the run game. Combining for 57 tackles and playing their best ball as the um as of late, which is a very good sign heading into the playoff. Michigan loves to run the ball. They love to run the ball, but do have some guys who can get behind the defense and make big plays through the air. Should they have a, uh, should they have a problem with containing them with Kool-Aid and Terion? After that's all said and done, we will have two more elite defensive backs to watch in the NFL. And when they go on, guess who else stepping up? The other guys behind them. Listen, if you are a defensive back, if you are a top-notch defensive back and you're looking at Alabama, choose Alabama, baby. Link up, roll time.